So lo and behold, the old familiar favorite, the dog coming to you from the laundry room. It's been a long time since I had to come into the laundry room to make a post, but the man's entertaining. <clears throat> He's got a few friends over. I don't know if they're gonna, they're, they're talking about forming a bowling team. I don't know. It seems like a waste of his time to me, but whatever, it's okay. Meanwhile, he says, listen, when these guys come over, don't be talking in front of them. We're done with all that nonsense. You can make your post anonymously on YouTube, but nobody wants to be talking to a dog person to person. So I said, fine, I had to get this one in because on my own, I've made one of those YouTube discovery people that, you know, you, you, you watch them and they get millions of views for doing some mundane thing. Well, I've discovered the, uh, what do you call it, the drainage pipe guy. So what the drainage pipe guy does is he started going around and finding drainage pipes that were blocked off. And he would get rid of the debris and then out would come the gushing water. And it really turns this guy on. This guy might be, what do you call, um, ambitostist or something like that, where they're not quite, you know, they're functioning at a high level, but there's something a little bit off, kind of like Elon Musk, for instance. So this guy's like the Elon Musk, a clearing out stuffed up drainage pipes. It's really something, though. This guy's got millions of views, he's got whatever. I don't even know. I'm sure this guy's making money off of this. So this dwarfed or devolved or demorphed, whatever you call it, into him making a little bunk bed that he could put right inside the drainage pipe up above the water. You know, he's like, the water's flowing below. He's got this little platform, and he's got these two cutout things like he can block off each end of the drainage pipe. God forbid there's ever a flash flood. This kid's going to get drowned in his own little whatever you would call it there. It's like a little Cub Scout cot that he made out of plywood so he could sleep inside the drainage pipe. Now the crazy thing about this is, this kid, he shows up, he goes to a drainage pipe, he sleeps for you know a couple days, basically hangs out inside the drainage pipe. He refuses, he'll go to the edge of the drainage pipe, he'll show everything that's going on out there, you know, like if it's snowing or raining, or if there's a deer bounding across a meadow that he can see from just at the mouth of the drainage pipe, he'll show you everything that's going on, but he won't leave the drainage pipe for the given amount of time. So basically, what this guy does is he sleeps in there and he munches up an amazing amount of food. I'm going to have to break it off now. The man's clamoring. I don't want to get caught talking. But the most significant part of this guy's video is, how's this guy going in the bathroom? Well, the water flowing under, he can separate the floorboards of his little cot. He can wash his dishes. He can wash his hands. And I guess, you know, I would say that's kind of like where I would pee or I would squat over that and take a crap and let it wash away. One crap isn't going to kill anything, you know, and wash down the way a little ways. But it's a very confined area. What this guy does is he pees into a jug. He'll separate the floorboards of his Cub Scout cot so he can get to the water that's running just below his bedding, his platform, and he'll wash his hands. He might wash his spoon or whatever. But to pee, he saves his pee in a big jug. And the poop, he poops into a Walmart bag. I mean, this guy's only got maybe, you know, whatever, like 10, 12 cubic feet of space, whatever it is, 15 cubic feet of space. I mean, if you got your own poop in there, like literally, two, not even 18 inches away from you, no matter how far away you put it up, you know, at the night you're going to smear, you're going to roll over, you're going to smush your own poop. God bless, it could get all over everything. It's disgusting. So that was the one thing I didn't understand. Why you would want to poop into a Walmart bag, wipe your butt with paper towels and save it for a while. I would open up them floorboards and crap right down there. I would save the tissue paper. That's environmentally unsanitary, but regular old pooping that aren't nothing. I definitely would pee into the stream flowing through the pipe that I was sleeping in. This kid's wonderful though. He saves the pee, he saves the poop, he hikes out of there, he takes, you know, you hike in with it, you take it out, whatever it's called. This guy's amazing. This whole thing, is really quite amazing and I wish I you know I wish I had something like that going on for myself not just hiding out in the laundry room making a you know whatever kind of a post it's not that important or whatever I wish I had millions of followers and you know I, I was thinking about things I could do to you know try to you know get a following but uh, you know 
a talking dog, if that doesn't work, you know, I don't know. I'll try to find some, maybe I'll start sleeping on ledges. Or I'll, get, I'll get outside on a high ledge and I'll try sleeping on a ledge or something. Maybe that'll attract some attention. Ah, whatever. It doesn't matter.